to celebrate the milestone age of 60, Professor Lua Toyitimi Tayogunikbe, the 12th Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, was joined by friends, colleagues, and associates on Tuesday, the 25th of January 2022, for the public presentation of a book titled Lua Toyitimi Tayogunikbe at 60 Audacity of Resilience. The event was held at the J.F. Adeajayi Auditorium, University of Lagos, Akoka, Lagos. Professor Lua Tonyu Gutikwe was born on the 31st of May, 1960. He attended the University of Ife, now Obafemi Awolowo University, where he obtained a Bachelor of Science degree, B.Sc. in Botany. He holds a Master's degree in Botany from the University of Ife and a Doctorate degree, Ph.D. from the same university. Thereafter, he obtained a master's degree in business administration from the University of Lagos and a certificate of attendance from the University of Reading in 1998. Professor Luatonyo Gundikbe began his academic career at the University of Lagos as a lecturer, where he rose to the rank of Professor of Botany in 2002. He was Dean, School of Postgraduate Studies from August 2007 to July 2011, and Director, Academic Planning Unit from April 2012 to April 2016. He was appointed as a Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos in November 2017 after emerging tops in the interview conducted, defeating Professor Lukayode Amand and Professor Ayo Deji Lukoju. Until his appointment in November 2017, he was the Deputy Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos. In attendance at the book presentation were Lagos State Governor Mr. Babajide Sonwulu, Pro-Chancellor and Chairman, Governing Council, University of Lagos, Dr. Larry Tejuosho, the Chairman of the Occasion, Mr. Rotimi Jacobs, SAN, Professor L. O. Chuku, Honorable Dave Salako, Senator Anthony Adifuye, Past and Present Vice-Chancellors, Captains of Industry, among other distinguished guests. Royal fathers in attendance include the Akaribu and Paramount ruler of Remoland, Oba Babatunde Ajayi, and White Cap Chiefs, who represented the Oba of Lagos. The event kicked off as the celebrant Professor Oluatunyu Gudikbe, in company of his amiable wife, Mrs. Ogundikbe, danced in majestically, giving glory to God as they exchanged pleasantries with guests. Thereafter, the National and University of Lagos anthems were sang. To commit the occasion into the able hands of God, the chaplain, Chapel of Christ Our Light, University of Lagos, Rev. Dr. Zuka Bulumani, led in the opening prayer. In the remarks of the chairman of the occasion, Mr. Rotimi Jacobs, SEN, he said the book would inspire all the readers, especially the youth, as it focuses on resilience to stand firm during tough times. Welcome to this important launch. We are extremely proud to have you in this public presentation of the book, Audacity of Resilience. It is hope that the book will inspire the readers, particularly the, our team of youth, who are at present, if you look at the situation, and what is happening in our nation today and throughout the world. You will see the 
the, that thing to inspire youth are greatly lacking. And, the, and the, the way things are going, people are losing hope, confidence, even in themselves. So I therefore recommend this book, The Audacity of uh, Resilience, to our timid youth and uh, to everybody here. Is a book that um, we really inspire this generation and we enable us to move forward. In the same vein, the Pro Chancellor, University of Lagos, Dr. Lanry Tejuosho, praised the doggedness of Professor Luato Nyogudikwe, noting that his unique level of resilience can only be from the Almighty God. Focus did not look at all the distractions and the institution and development of the institution was his priority. He refused to let me read the book, so I can't talk too much about the book. I'm waiting anxiously to see the content and to know exactly what the messages are. But I can assure you, knowing the VC, he likes perfection, and um, I look forward to the book. Mr. Governor, sir, once again, I thank you, and um, I hope uh, uh, you will do as usual. We trust you. Thank you, Mr. Governor. Thereafter, the special guest of honor at the event, Mr. Babajide Sonwulu, the executive governor of Lagos State, described the celebrant as a man of humility who attributes everything about him to God alone. Speaking on the book, Uluwa Toyin Temitayo Gundikwe at 60, Audacity of Resilience, Governor Sonwulu noted that the book is essential for the younger generation and upcoming leaders for them to see and understand the life of Professor Lua Tonyo Gudikwe, which is worthy of emulation. But when you say resilient, he has gone through a lot. He has gone through a lot as an individual. And that's why the book is really not about us that are on this side, but it's about the younger generation, it's about the university students, it's about the upcoming future leaders that are here seated, for them to see and to understand that the life of their vice chancellor, their current vice chancellor, is a life in which they need to emulate, is a life in which they need to reflect and know that with humility, you can go far. It's not how you were born. It's not how home you were given, but it's how well you retrain yourself with all of the opportunity that God has given to you. He added that when talking about the history of the university, the name Professor Lua Tonyo Gudikwe would always be mentioned as a man who brought a lot of fundings, grants, and innovation to the university. Professor Ogudipe is on record that in the history of this great institution, he has brought and has been able to bring a lot of funding, grants into this university, much more than anybody has done. It goes to show that indeed is a brick builder. It goes to show that indeed it can network and they can indeed explain to others outside of the university why people need to support and encourage you know, the academic excellence of this great university. And so Professor Ogunipe has used the audacity of resilience to put all of his experiences together in his autobiography. And he's doing that while he's still active. Because some of the challenges that we see is a lot of us will have time to write this when we're in our, you know, when we have boarding passes and God is showing us, but he's doing it at, a, at an age in which he believes he still has a lot to contribute to mankind. And I think he deserves a round of applause for that. Lagos State Governor Mr. Babajide Sonwulu also disclosed that the state government will merge the Adeniro Gusanya College of Education and the Michael Otedola College of Primary Education Ekbe, to form a university of education while the Lagos State Polytechnic Ikorudu will become a University of Science and Technology. The governor said the two new universities will take off following the approval given by the National Universities Commission, NUC. And, and by the way, if I might just use this one minute to also advertise, there are two other universities that NUC have just given us approval for in Lagos. And so Lagos State will be having two new universities, the University of Science and Technology, which is the old polytechnic in Ikurudu, which will be turned into a university of science and technology. And another university, the University of Education, 
which were merging the Adenokson College of Education and the College of Education in Ekpe, were turning them into a university of college. And Lagos deserves more. Lagos deserves all of these institutions because we know that the, the population that we have in Lagos, both University of Lagos and Lagos State University, cannot fit those numbers alone. And we need to begin to build leaders for, the to, for tomorrow. We need to begin to have curriculum that speaks to the needs of tomorrow, not for us to begin you know, to say that this is what we want and put some people in some disadvantaged position. Let us be able to indeed create level playing field for all of our great young pupils that are looking for higher institution. The citation of Professor Lua Tonyo Gundikbe was later read by Dr. Timitakwe Numiya, while Professor Abigail Uguizin Desika read the profile of the book reviewer, Mr. Martin Saloja. In his review, Mr. Martin Saloja, the managing director and editor-in-chief of the Guardian newspaper, said the book focuses on the humble beginnings of Professor Lua Tonyo Gundikbe and how he rose to the 11th floor of the Unilag Senate building as the 12th vice chancellor of the university. He stressed that the book is divided into five parts with a total of 340 pages, focusing majorly on the leadership skills of Professor Lua Tonyo Gudigbe. He afterwards recommended the book for everyone. In the book, the authors who prefer to be called editors tackle the subject of success, how people obtain it, and what contributes to extraordinary success of the icon they are celebrating as opposed to everyday success. The book takes you through OTO's fulfilled mission and vision for what they would like to call the University of First Choice, University of Lagos and the nation's pride as chief executive officer. You will enjoy in the book a chronicle of a significant life of a retired soldier's son who may not have been prominent in the media, but quite significant as Rick Warren, the author of a classic, the purpose-driven life, who have described him. You know, is, uh, uh, Rick Warren talked about significance and prominence. That So people are prominent, but not significant. And some people are significant, but not prominent. But God, the Almighty, is looking for significant people and not prominent people. I would advise anyone who hasn't got a book, the purpose driven life, to get a copy. This was immediately followed by the book unveiling and presentation by the CEO Step Development Limited, engineer Remio Seni, as it was generously launched by distinguished guests in attendance. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. In his vote of thanks, Professor Lua Tony Timitayo Gunikbe, whose joy could not be contained, returned all glory to God for everything and appreciated all who stood by him through it all. I want to start by saying I return all the glory to the Almighty God for today. It's not by might, it's not by power, it's just by the Spirit of the Living God. All my friends, all my colleagues, I just want to say, Momo biti moti bere, Momo bite mumi de, Momo biti moti bere, Momo bite mumi de, Go 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 lo ye o, Baba, Go 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 lo ye o, Baba, Momo biti moti bere, Momo bite mumi de. Momo biti moti bere, Momo biti mumi de mo wipe, Gogo gogo lo ye o, Baba, Gogo gogo lo ye o, Baba, Gogo gogo lo ye o, Baba, Gogo gogo lo ye o. The meaning of that song is, I know where I started from. I know where God has taken me to. I return all the glory to the Almighty God. Thank you very much. God bless us all.
To bring the event to an end, Professor Muiwa Falaye delivered the vote of thanks, after which the senior pastor Trinity House, Pastor Ituai Gudalo, led in the closing prayer. From Biscon Communications, it's congratulations to Professor Ulua Tonyogunikbe, the 12th Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, on the successful presentation of his book, Ulua Tonyogunikbe at 60, Audacity of Resilience.